In this video, we will discuss how to use and maintain the aerosol assist. The aerosol assist increases safety and when used correctly increases work performance. We are confident that the aerosol assist will become a daily tool you come to depend on. The aerosol assist offers cost-effective aerosol suppression, intraoral fluid removal, and dynamic lip retraction in one easy-to-use, hands-free device. The best part is you do not need any specialized equipment or hoses to get started. If you have an HVE and a disposable saliva ejector, you are ready to go. We have received a lot of positive feedback and are thrilled that many top dental professionals and schools see the value of our product. It's your turn to reap the benefits. We have been fortunate enough to win several awards, including Hygiene Product of the Year. Practitioners can benefit from automating intraoral fluid and splatter control in a hands-free device. It also has integrated true backflow protection. It reduces chair time and improves practitioner ergonomics. Long-term exposure to aerosols is a health issue. This is comparable to not brushing your teeth on a regular basis. The first time you don't brush your teeth, it's not that big of a deal, but not brushing your teeth over long periods leads to oral health issues. Similarly, being exposed to aerosols on a long-term basis will start to cause long-term stress on your respiratory and immune system. Additionally, implementing different types of aerosol suppression devices can be taxing ergonomically on the dental practitioner. What is the solution? Our solution is the aerosol assist system, which is an ultra lightweight, hands-free, autoclavable extraoral system that removes intraoral fluids and provides high performance aerosol suppression during procedures. The aerosol assist is designed to work in any office, but we have identified some challenges that your operatories might have when first learning how to use the aerosol assist. Making sure you understand the following concepts will make the learning process smoother. Can any saliva ejector work with the aerosol assist? Yes, but we do have a favorite. We video reviewed multiple other brands of saliva ejectors for your benefit. The video explaining our criteria on saliva ejector rankings can be found on our setup page on our website. You can also download a PDF to see our favorites. We found that the right saliva ejector makes such a great difference that we started using them in our offices as it made our professional lives a lot easier and the patients enjoyed them as well. The aerosol assist is designed to fit a standard HVE connector. If the aerosol assist is not snug when you place it on the HVE, the O-ring is probably missing or needs to be replaced. Missing or damaged O-rings are common and cause the aerosol assist to not attach. Visually verify that the O-ring inside the HVE is intact to ensure you are ready to install the aerosol assist. The aerosol assist is designed to allow for easy rotation while remaining fixed on the HVE. If the aerosol assist is loose on the HVE, the O-ring may be worn out or missing. A probe can be used to remove the old O-ring and should be changed every three to four months or when the aerosol assist starts falling off too easily. To install a new O-ring, position the O-ring with a probe so it engages one side of the interior grooves of the HVE and then twist the HVE so you can view the opposite side and engage the opposite side of the interior groove. Once both sides are engaged, ensure the entire O-ring is fed into the rest of the interior groove. We recommend positioning the aerosol assist on a dental team member before using it on a patient to make sure positioning is correct and comfortable. When used properly, it should be very comfortable and most patients will not even realize you are using a new device. When sitting the patient, it is important to have them in a supine position and make sure there is sufficient room to allow the HVE hose to fall in between the headrest and the chair. The HVE hose should be perpendicular to the floor and patient. Sitting them at a 45 degree angle can be done, but you need to make sure there is enough slack in the HVE line to not cause any additional tension in the line. It is not recommended to use the aerosol assist above a 45 degree position. The aerosol assist is a very simple device comprising of two channels. One is dedicated to removing intraoral fluids. The other is a 35 millimeter aerosol port at the top dedicated to removing aerosols and splatter during procedures. It is a hands-free device hanging onto the patient's lips via the curved buckle plate. It can also be used in conjunction with a bite block. The saliva ejector, from falling off, being picked up by patients due to it being uncomfortable, or by just doing its own thing after you find the optimal position, it is long overdue for an upgrade. The aerosol assist is designed to upgrade the functionality of a standard disposable saliva ejector so that it can be truly customizable, comfortable, and easy to use. 
When working with only a saliva ejector, a proper position can be achieved by creating two bends on the body. The first bend is to anchor the saliva ejector to the lip, and the second bend is to angulate the tip to remove intraoral fluids. Because of the variability in patient's anatomy, where to place the bend is arbitrary and is achieved through trial and error. This causes another problem. When you put the saliva ejector into a patient's mouth 100 times, you'll get 100 different positions because of the arbitrary nature of bending the saliva ejector. The saliva ejector is one of the most used tools in dentistry so why not make it as efficient as possible? We resolve that issue by using the anatomy of the aerosol assist to aid in getting consistent results. It starts by fully inserting the disposable saliva ejector into the posterior channel of the aerosol assist. We recommend lubricating the posterior channel with a little bit of water and bending the saliva ejector at the tip before inserting. Once the saliva ejector is fully inserted, pull down the saliva ejector past the pinch point to lock it into place by placing your thumb on the buckle plate and holding the saliva ejector with the other fingers closest to the aerosol port and pulling down. You can now change the position of the saliva ejector to fit in the most comfortable position for the patient. This position is the starting position that will work on most patients and is able to avoid gag reflexes by not touching any gums, teeth, or other anatomical landmarks. If the length of the saliva ejector inside the aerosol cyst is too short or is uncomfortable, it is fully adjustable so that every patient can have an optimal experience. If the saliva ejector is not touching any tissue, then the patient should not have a bad experience. This allows the saliva ejector to transform its functionality to now be truly customizable and increase its effectiveness. The engineering that went into the design of the aerosol assist allows the saliva ejector to get used without its negative attributes, such as moving around too much, arbitrary bends, being uncomfortable, and inefficient positions. Understanding this process makes it possible to give a fully customizable experience with every patient with a routine installation. When using the aerosol assist, the practitioner will benefit from hands-free aerosol suppression and intraoral fluid removal, while the patient will experience a more dry and comfortable procedure. When using the aerosol assist, excessive pooling of intraoral fluids can be caused by the saliva ejector ports becoming obstructed by debris, portions of the patient's anatomy, or malposition of the saliva ejector. If it is too high up and is not positioned low enough to reach the intraoral fluids, or if the HVE line is not open or powerful enough. All of these issues can be resolved by correctly adjusting the saliva ejector. You can pull it out, put it back in through the pinch point, and then reinstall it in order to reach deeper cavities. The aerosol assist is designed to complement other infection control techniques and systems and works great with cheek retractors, rubber dams, bite blocks, ultrasonic scalers, high speeds, intraoral cameras, intraoral scanners, and lasers. What you see here is what we call aerosol visualization testing. The same setup is on the left and the right. You have the same lighting, the same scaler at the same setting. And what we're doing is we're benchmarking their success against the standard saliva ejector. Notice on the right as we move the scaler around the perimeter of the patient's mouth, little to no aerosols are accumulated, with the few getting pulled directly into the device. On the left, the patient has more splatter visible, and you can see the change of direction of those aerosols from the scaler as the patient breathes. This is something that is not easily visible to the naked eye with normal lighting. In this splatter visualization testing, we use a non-toxic fluorescent dye. It is run through the scaler and then we flooded the operatory with black lights in order to more easily visualize where the aerosols are accumulating and to see if we were effectively doing a great job in reducing them. Notice the patient on the left and the accumulation of splatter on the patient's cheek, ear, neck, and hair. You can also see accumulation around the nasal passage, which will indicate inhalation of aerosols. When you compare that to the right, where we have the aerosol cyst in place, you'll notice there's almost no accumulation of splatter on the patient's face, nor on the practitioner's hands and tools. The practitioner has both hands free to use their mirror as they've been used to with little to no change in their workflow. The aerosol assist is a very versatile tool and can also take care of fumes generated by laser procedures. What you'll see in this video is a fibroma being removed. On the left, you have the aerosol assist, and on the right, you have no aerosol suppression implemented, only a saliva ejector. You'll see the drastic difference in the amount of fumes that are generated on the right versus the left. The aerosol assist is able to very quickly and effectively suck in these fumes, keeping the practitioner safe. Looking closely at the video, you see some of the plumes jet into the aerosol assist. These fumes are very toxic. There is a study in JAMA Dermatology which states that laser plumes have been shown to actually transmit diseases. The research states that strict care must be maintained by the laser practitioner to minimize potential health risks, especially when treating viral-induced lesions or patients with viral diseases.
The aerosol assist allows the practitioner to use both hands. This allows them to focus on the procedure while automating intraoral fluid removal and aerosol suppression. After each use, the saliva ejector is discarded. The aerosol assist is then rinsed internally and externally to flush out any debris. The HVE port has two internal channels that can be cleaned with a standard brush. The aerosol port has access to those same channels and should be cleaned as well. After rinsing, they can be ultrasonically cleaned in an enzymatic bath and then placed in standard sterilization pouches. Load them single file on the autoclave tray and insert the tray in the top slot only. It's important to not place any other instruments or trays on top as this may warp the device. Do not wipe it down with alcohol, cavi wipes, nor dry it in an instrument dryer prior to placing it in the autoclave. The aerosol assist demo units do not come with a warranty. However, a full kit comes with a six month manufacturer warranty. If the aerosol assist cracks or deforms within six months of purchasing, please contact the aerosol assist team via email with proof of purchase for a replacement. The aerosol assist is able to treat patients with limited ability to open, TMJ issues, pharyngeal or gag reflux, and is the go-to choice for prophylaxis, SRPs, anterior restorations, crown cementations, endodontic procedures, procedures that use a rubber dam, implant placement, and second stage surgeries and extractions. At around 30 cents a use, it is the most affordable option because of its reusability. You will benefit from the aerosol assist from the first time you try it. However, we recommend using it multiple times with different procedures to have a better understanding of how it works in different scenarios. It is a tool that can be learned easily, and once you see its benefit, you will want to have it in your armamentarium. As a token of appreciation for listening to our presentation, we are offering 20% off a complete kit of six. No other system on the market comes close at only 30 cents per use. Try it risk-free. Returns are accepted within 30 days.